new video game is really causing some controversy. In order to win, you must survive a school shooting. It was created by Joaquin Oliver's parents. They lost their son six years ago in the Parkland School Massacre. CBS News Miami's Chelsea Jones is in the newsroom with reaction to this very controversial game. This is a game that has the sights and sounds of a school shooting, including the gunfire. It's called the final exam, and it's filled with educational items, too, in hopes to create long term change. But the images can be hard to watch, and not everyone is sure that this is the way to prevent school shootings. <laughs> Bated breath heard in the trailer of a video game simulating a mass school shooting. It was created by the parents of Joaquin Oliver. My life is not the result of me playing a game and then losing the game. My life actually is a result of the inaction of our politicians. Manuel Oliver says in the years since the tragedy, we've seen several more school shootings. So he and his wife created this game to reach young people and teach them that there are laws that can help change things. When playing the game, you will find information lodged in books, boards, and maps about school shootings across the country. It will also reveal five different pieces of legislation that could prevent future tragedies, like the assault weapons ban, secure storage, also known as Ethan's Law, the banning of high-capacity magazines, universal background checks, and raising the minimum age to purchase a weapon. We need young Americans to be aware of what's going on and to understand the bills. There's a whole complexity of, of um, law language behind these bills. And, and one of the things that the game is doing is that make it that very comprehensible, very easy to understand. Broward County School Board member Lori Alhadef also lost her daughter Alyssa in the massacre. She tells me the game should be taken straight to legislators that can make real change, not students. Tell me why you think it's a little too much or maybe goes a little far uh, for the K through 12. I wouldn't want them to have trauma related to such a video. And, and then I don't want kids to be scared going to school. The root of the problem is not the game. The root of the problem is easy access to us. All of these parents lost children, so there's no winning for them. But the Olivers tell me winning the final exam happens when you collect all five bills created to prevent future tragedies. In the newsroom, I'm Chelsea Jones, CBS News, Miami. We did reach out to several other Parkland parents who lost their children in that shooting. Most did not know about the game until they were told about it. They opted to not speak on it.